listeners, it's Shed Time Stories with me, Izzy. Are you ready to share a new story? Well, I have chosen a rather inspiring book to share. The title is Dogfish Saves the Ocean. If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author, the person who has written this story is Rita Reed. And the illustrator, the person who has drawn all the pictures, is Craig Cartwright. Now, Dogfish and his friends have found pollution in their home. I wonder what they can do about it. Shall we read and find out? Dogfish Saves the Ocean Swimming through the sparkling bay Dogfish was enjoying this beautiful day. His soft, fluffy ears, his eyes big and bright, and his little black whiskers all twitched with delight. He played and splashed, not a care in the world, laughing and frolicking as he swirled and twirled. Leaping and diving, he heard a shout. Help me! Help me! I must get this out! Oh no! Turtle had a straw stuck in his snout! Dogfish was worried about Turtle indeed. He called to the others to help their friend in need. They pulled and tugged, they tugged and pulled. It finally came out with a big, huge pop. Turtle explained as his friend swam around. We've got big trouble, he said with a frown. Trash is everywhere. They swam together and were shocked when they saw wrappers and cans, plastic bottles and straws. The Minnow sisters exclaimed, We've heard that when it rains, trash flows straight into our bay. It starts in the streets and gutters and goes down through the drains. Dogfish was worried. This sounds like doom and gloom. What can we do? Our environment is in danger. Turtle comforted Dogfish with a smile across his snout. Much can be done if all of us help out. They talked about recycling and using less plastic too. If everyone joins in, we'll see our dreams come true. I'm just a little angelfish, but I can make a difference. Reusable cups and straws for me, both at home and at school. We all love our oceans, Shark said with emotion. We are ready to proceed. Let's all help create the change. The manta rays agreed. Then everyone started to pick up some trash and put it where it should go. No more trash floating in our home. Working side by side, together, they were strong. They cleaned and tidied up and sang a little song. Recycle and reduce, reinvent and reuse. If we follow these four R's, 
we can keep our ocean blue. Their world in the ocean became cleaner and brighter. They all joined together and they were excited. Squealing with delight, they cheered hip hip hooray. While swishing their tails and fins, dancing in an undersea parade. All together, they made a difference. This was cause for celebration. Let's keep our ocean clean for future generations. Oh, what a truly inspiring story that was. Dogfish and his friends certainly were shocked at all the pollution in their home, in their ocean. But I'm so glad they all worked together as a team and they cleaned up their home. They recycled, they reused and they learned that no one was too small to make a difference. We too can make a difference in our environment. We can think about recycling and reusing things and that way our world can be a cleaner and healthier place. Just like Dogfish and his friends, each and every one of us can make a difference. I hope you've enjoyed this Shed Time Story and if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. Then you'll be ready for the next book for us to share together.